Welcome back to another episode on b Horror Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look into a sequel to a popular game from the Nintendo DS, Neo, The World Ends With You. In this preview demo, we take a quick glimpse at a game I never played on the Nintendo DS or Android with The World Ends With You. This version of the game comes with a new playable characters and have the same premise as the older game, but with enhanced gameplay, visuals, and power to back it up. You play as characters who are dead and trapped in a universe where in one week's time that you solve puzzles and fight to have a chance to live again. Top scorers at the end of the week will get that chance to live again. Right away, I feel like the game plays just like the manga anime Gantz where the characters fight to be released to live a normal life instead of fighting monsters and demons. Neo, The World Ends With You is developed and released by Square Enix on July 27th of 2021. The game is almost a carbon copy of the original title, but enhanced in almost every way. This means we're in for a great time, right? Well, that would be a yes if you're talking about the battle systems. I found the battles to be fast and intuitive with a party that really commands your attention, which is key in an action RPG. You are able to attack with different face buttons that also corresponds with different characters to provide combinations to build on more intense combos and attacks. Not bad, I'd say. You can touch simple equations. Uh, sure. I can keep going. I got this. It's over. The battles are fast and do take strategy, especially when facing bigger enemies. Using a pin system that also pushes the development of the battle system to improve itself with different ones and upgrades down the path that shows a bit more promise to the battle system and further down the line. Being able to look around the city and explore is a very nice part of the game where it takes many of the original places in the Nintendo DS version and upgrades the visuals for fans of the original. The visuals are nothing to write home about, but it does carry its own feeling and design that really holds its own. The music and voice acting is average at best and is probably more memorable on the original version than the sequel. The sound isn't bad, just less memorable. issue with the game for me is within the story, context, and pacing of the game thus far. Although extremely a small sample size with the demo, the story seems to go on and on and on between characters before venturing off into battles. I feel that although the main characters are trying to figure out what's going on, there is so much text that you have to almost fast forward every scene altogether out of boredom. There are some games out there that explain a little too less and those that go way overboard and this one is way, way overboard. I felt tired and cycling through conversation to later putting the dialogue on auto mode but also falling asleep because of it. Although I enjoyed the battle and combat system, it isn't enough for me at this point in dealing with the story as I just couldn't get into it. This game is not my cup of tea and would only recommend this to fans of the original. That's it for me on this episode on our preview look at Neo. The world ends with you. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Now I got a horrible feeling. Run!
A new game has finally begun. <laughs> Seen this before. Damn. Keep keep. Who cares? My season climbs to the who's who here. Freestyle, so freestyle. the style. Eat me, lean over the yarn, eight mile. Yeah. Really mess of a can. Less of a dandy, school guy AA's like when it was Randy. Eat with the toys like I'm liking the Andy. Still got no brain.